You might think what happens to your mixed recycling is a bit of a mystery. You might think it gets transported to a fantastical land where wood elves and pixies magically sort the paper from plastics. You might think that's pretty out there, but in truth what we do at Grundon's Materials Recovery Facilities, or MRFs, is truly fantastic. Your bags of recyclable waste arrive at a MRF, and a hopper, not a space hopper, loads them onto a conveyor belt ready for pre-sorting by hand. To stop any non-recyclables entering the process, our team remove contaminants such as nappies, carrier bags, and even the occasional tent. Before the rest runs the gauntlet of different sorting obstacles, star-shaped screens bounce the cardboard along and carry it away, while the remaining recyclables drop onto the conveyor belt below. From there, a ballistic separator bounces everything around, throwing lightweight paper over a screen and dropping heavier materials like cans and plastics onto a conveyor belt below. Here, perfectly designed holes sieve out the glass. You'd be forgiven for thinking the near-infrared spectroscopy is magic. This nifty bit of tech scans for different types of plastic and fibre, helping to sort them before blasts of air fire them down the right chute. The precious metals left behind might not be gold and silver, but they are no less valuable. Ferrous metals attracted by powerful overband magnets fly upwards, while electrical eddy currents repel aluminium cans away. A fine check is made to ensure no happy campers have strayed and present a contamination risk before bailing and sending out for reprocessing. 90% of mixed recycling Grundon receive is retrieved and turned into new products. And of the 10% that isn't, well, that becomes green electricity at one of our energy from waste plants. It might not be magic, but it is fantastic.